price. Let's just say it's causing a little controversy. Watch this. First off, try to recognize that America was never great for anyone who wasn't a white guy. Can we all just agree that Black Lives Matter isn't the opposite of All Lives Matter? Black lives just matter. There's no need to overcomplicate it. Also, Blue Lives Matter isn't a thing. Learn what mansplaining is, and then stop doing it. Oh, and if you're a judge, don't prioritize the well-being of an Ivy League athlete over the woman he assaulted. We all love Beyonce, and yeah, she's black, so of course she cares about black issues. <laughs> I'm talking to you, Fox News. Mm-hmm. How'd that white guy get in there, by the way? I don't know. Molly Hemingway is a senior editor for The Federalist, and Jamila Bay is a radio show host in Washington. Good to see you both. Molly, you've used some tough language on this. You've called it sexist and racist. Why? Yeah, there's really no way to sugarcoat this. It's not about... Uh, privilege, it's not particularly funny, it's not interesting, it doesn't even make any sense. It's just straight up sexism and racism. It's just a way to make uh, fun of people or comment against people based on nothing more than their sex and their race. And that's not okay. That is not something that we permit based on who the targeted group is. I mean, it's, it's permissible to do it, but it's just not good to do it. And we should not allow it if a certain group is targeted, but, but allow it if it's if it's another group it's just not a good way to be bigoted prejudicial toward a group of people for no reason at all Jamil, i gotta say i'm not sure if it's satire i don't know if they're trying to be serious um but do you worry that maybe if they are trying to reach people the people they're trying to reach are actually going to be offended rather than educated or uh, brought into the fold in some way not at all. Let's be let's be real here. This is MTV and there's a particular demographic they're going after. They want to be young and hip and edgy. They're trying to say, hey, white guys, don't do this stuff in 2017. It's a comedy bit. MTV has never done educational programming. Asterix, don't tell me about the AIDS specials they did in the 90s. Those were great. But this was designed to be funny. This was designed to be comedy. If you don't think it's funny, that's great. If you do think it's funny, that's great. But to ascribe, you know, motive behind it that they're bigoted and they hate white dudes and they just want to be mean and racist and sexist no they got a whole bunch of people in a room and were like or, or however in front of a screen and said yeah we should we should punch up for once instead of doing comedy against against oppressed okay. groups or marginalized groups let's talk about what white dudes do all right molly funny i mean maybe that was the point if it would have been funny, it would have been forgivable. It's just, it doesn't even make any sense. And again, it's just ascribing views to people based on nothing other than their sex and their race. And that's just not something that's good. It's particularly not good for people like MTV, which is on the progressive side of things, to do this. We're in an environment where a big theme of the year was how political correctness is corrosive and how people are really getting sick mm -hmm. of it. They're pushing back by doing things like electing Donald Trump. We look at things like this and we point to them and we say, oh, this is how Trump won. Well, pretty soon, the more that we see the left responding by continuing to do this type of thing, this is why Trump is going to win again next time and right. this time in a landslide. Jamila, I literally have 10 seconds. All yours. Uh, my friends, get over it. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. If you can laugh at everybody else, you can laugh at white guys, too. There was no malice behind this. If you don't we'll think be... it's funny, turn it off.